Hey kids. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to do a short video today because, um, you know, we took the uh, big workbench out and that had, of course, had my vice on it. Ooh, yeah, there we go. And um, so I needed to figure something out and I was like, well, I don't want to get those, those little three inch ones or whatever. So, a little uh, late night shopping. I got something coming. I got something uh, show up. So I'm going to turn this around and I'll open it all at the same time. Ready for some crazy camera angles? I don't know how crazy it's going to be. It's going to be lower. So, pick me up something. Now, as you can see, it's heavy. It's actually fairly heavy. Tape broke over there. By the way, it's one of my shop shooters back. Someone's got them. And uh, I don't like it. Okay, so I'm unboxing this. This is, you know, live as it's going to get. So, oh, hey, look at that garbage can. Well, that thing's in the garbage can. Clean shop's a happy shop, kids. All right, so I didn't get a huge, you know, vice, but it is. Wow, that's actually pretty stout. Hey, it came with socks. Hey, look at that. Came with gloves. Cool. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? Do you think they're going to fit? Nope. They don't. Why? Why? I guess Peyton's going to have some more gloves. What kit, I guess. Now, the reason I got this one, the reason I got this one is for a very specific reason. Number one, well, I, yeah, number one of the very specific reason it was affordable. You know, it wasn't 300 bucks, it wasn't 700 bucks, it wasn't six seventy dollars I don't think. Anyway, but, so, you know, not bad, right? 270 degree of swivel, all that good stuff. But, it comes with its own bracket, so it's not, doesn't have to be permanently mounted. And, you know, we're gonna be using that workbench over there. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take, the, you know, this and hardware, and the, the heavy part. We're gonna go, Set it up right over there. Right, yep, right there. And um, we're gonna put it together and I don't know, clamp some stuff in it and maybe I'll hit it with a hammer. That'll be fun, huh? All right, I'll meet you over there. Um, it looks like that still. So we're gonna go to plan B, which is uh, over here. Yep. See? <laughs> plan B. That's not plan B that we're going with. We're going to go right here. We're going to put it on the uh, welding table. People do that, don't they? No. All right. Well, they're about to. Did you get out of the way, Clyde? Jeez. Oh. Remember when I told you we were going to find all the leaks from Clyde? Well, I found some. That's another show. All right, so in the hardware bag, you get hardware, right? This will to mount through things. And these to the, the base. Seems pretty small. You guys see that? There's a little guy and I don't know. Skeptical. Um, I mean, look. I didn't, you know, go whole hog and buy, you know, buy the farm. Well, number one, because I don't have a farm. And I don't, I don't think I can afford a farm. You guys think, I mean, are farms affordable right now for people? I don't think they are. Because, uh, not for regular guys, you know, I mean, that, I mean, maybe. Anyway, 
So I'm just gonna move these things out of the way. Now remember, it's a three quarter. I do wanna say though, that um, I really do like these, uh, these are Harbor Freight, these Pittsburgh ratcheting uh, wrenches. I mean, I really do like these. They're, you know, a nice sturdy um, tool. And then, you know, you got, hear that? Like some teeth in there or something? I do really like these and this, I was I always, you know, I was always craftsman. And then, you know, Harbor Freight came to town and I was like, woohoo. So, but I will tell you that these actually, I do recommend these both in metric and standard. I have these, I got these for Peyton as well. Because let's face it, we want cool stuff. Now, so we take the guy here. And it's just got a little, you know, it, like that. Okay. Okay. Now, if you remember from the uh, worst video that somebody's ever watched, when I put this together, you know, it's got right there, but. That fits underneath there pretty good. And then you just twist her up. Yeah, you guys see? And cool thing is it twists right onto that leg that we were just talking about how bad I am at doing videos. So, and then it's literally line up the holes. And we take these guys, all right? And there's four of them. And we start them here. Like that. Now there's no washer for them. So anyway, that's fine. Number one, before you start twisting it, make sure you got it, you know, remembered. Okay, so. And then, you know, we can loosen it up. You know, that's all right. We'll have to adjust it here in a moment. Because I have it on here. Not in the best route. I wanted to be able to come out this way. So. Like that, right? But I want it this way. So what I need to do is I need to undo these. This is live. As live as going to get, right? So. I need to undo these and spin it around. Of course, that one's the tightest one with my fingers. So we're just gonna 180 this guy. Or you know, whatever it identifies as is that thing. I don't care, it's a vice. Anyway, yeah, that's better. Should have known. Um when I looked at it, you know, it was crooked. I mean, it wasn't crooked, but it was crooked, you know what I'm saying? So, we'll tighten that up. Hey, right, oops, you know, bad. Oops, you know, pretty good. So, I'm gonna get uh, the old uh, wrench here. I'm gonna get a wrench and I'm gonna tighten this down. Okay, so. The bolts, or the, that hold it down to the Clamping base is 9 16 Once again, Pittsburgh. So, you're going to have to do the manual style. You're not going to be able to ratchet this one. There's just not enough room there. I guess it, it seems to, you know, hold down tight there. Um, you know, I kind of get, I'm getting the get what you pay for. You know, I didn't want. I don't need 
and it's super expensive because I, I honestly, my, my red vice that you guys have seen me use, that one's, I like that one a lot. And it's kind of a goofy setup because you can only, you can only tighten it. You can't, when you go to back it out, you, you loosen it up and then you have to pull it. So it's actually kind of neat. Uh, my father-in-law got it for me from an old guy and, um, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if I've ever said this, but I like things that have a story, you know, something like Clyde. Clyde's got a story. I mean, I don't know what it's saying. He's been around, you know, um, plan B, plan B's been around. I don't know what happened to, you know, why did they get jumped? Why did they get parked? You know, Bonnie, let's face it. She's just awesome. That's her story. So, here we go. Hold on a second. Make it on that side. Doesn't do any good if it's like, you know, an inch and a half. So, you know, it seems to, you know, does the thing. Now, I got a four and a half inch vise because I think that's, I mean, that's honestly all I need, you know. And it has the spot for um, pipe right here where my thumb is. And it does have an anvil back here. So, let's find some stuff to clamp. Be right back. Okay, I got some stuff, random stuff. I've got a lifting or lowering block depending on your particular usage. big my lug socket a drill bit no I'm not gonna put this end in there I'm gonna put the you know I get a chisel and a punch yeah I mean it's just some random stuff that's really all I gotta do so hey what's it okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna No, I'm pretty sure if I pull this all the way out to put it like this, it's going to not, you know, be my friend. That's pretty good. I mean, you've got to, you know, pick it up 70 pounds with it. So that's something, you know, didn't mar up the stuff too much there, by the way. It was made in Taiwan. Thanks, Edelbrock or whoever made it. All right, so same thing with this one. You know, it's not going anywhere. I mean, it doesn't even really move in there. That's cool. Let's tighten that down so it doesn't move on me. Now, this is going to take a little bit of adjustment down here to make sure that I have it tight enough so it doesn't move on me the bottom anyway all right we're gonna try the old uh thinger here my leg wrench my leg um socket once again so that's actually all right you know we'll just do one of these Now this is at a pinch, so look at that though. It's tapered, so it was clamped really good right here. All in all, I don't know, I think it's all right. Another cool part is, of course, if I don't want it here, if I ever get my workbench clean off. Anybody wanna? Come up and clean my workbench for a frosty big red. No? Okay. All right. So, I don't know. I mean, for the 40 bucks or so, or whatever, 50 bucks, I think, whatever I paid for it, you know, that's all right. And then, hmm. you know, it's got a little anvil there. 
not like my red one. I mean, my red one's got actually a uh, like a horn and stuff on it, which is actually really cool. So I'm gonna. Well, that's close. -ish. Um, the vice was not made in America. Um, and it said my tech, but I'll tell you what, it was like 47 letters and, you know, like a number or something. So I don't know. I don't know if, uh, if that's the, it says my tech on the box. So anyway, you've been seeing us use it, uh, this, this winter here. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. Uh, now, of course, we're going to be, um, that's a funny glare in it. What the heck is going on here? Okay. We good? You know, okay. So, uh, yeah, um, you'll be seeing us use that vice. Um, and honestly, if we get, I mean, if it's. Um, a nice solid thing. I might order another one for uh, just to leave on there and then put one, you know, on the workbench. That could be a thing, you know, I don't know. But so far it looks, I mean, it's pretty good. I, I'm, I'm pleased. It clamped tight. Uh, it's not as good as my, of course, American made one from Ohio. Uh, cast iron. I don't think that's cast iron, but um, it was, it seems pretty heavy duty and well, we'll be, um, put it through his paces, I'm sure, as we work on Clyde and Plan B and, you know, your girl's all covered up, Bonnie. Uh, anyway, I've got some, some ideas for Plan B while we're standing by it here. Um, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to get this body mounted, hopefully. Um, I don't know if it's actually going to work. Or not, but Peyton and I are going to give it a shot. So stay tuned for that. Hilarity ensues, I'm sure. Um, and then I, for as much as I pick on Clyde, I actually do want to focus some more time and attention on it, and maybe even um, some extra money into it. Uh, I got to, of course, look at what I've got left to spend on this one before I can really do anything on Clyde. But um, anyway, that's neither here nor there or uh, in a box with a fox in the rain on a train here or there with Sam. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing thing just because it, you know, I mean, I don't normally do that too often. Uh, and uh, Peyton's cleaning the room. So cool deal. Um but we've got a lot of work to do and we've got a lot of time to do it because it's getting cold. Uh, today was like 53 degrees though, sunshine. And, but if you guys want to see anything else, you know, if you got any requests, down the thing, right? I think it's over there, right here. Or if you want to just, you know, whatever, um, you know, let us know. Send us an email, honestpaytonspeedshop at gmail.com. Oh. Uh, members, stickers are going to be coming out um, probably this weekend. I'm going to be putting them in the mail. So watch out for those. Um, I do believe that it's the Miss Bonnie sticker that you guys are going to get. Um, unless I reach in and grab something else. But the Miss Bonnie is going to be next, I'm guessing. And then we've got some uh, other... Uh, members only cool stuff too so uh, anyway hope you guys enjoyed it uh i'll stop rambling now uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button i think it's there and uh keep on rushing have a great day